Hello YouTube, this is Frugal and after a little bit of a break, this is the Frugal Sim News for today, Sunday, July the 3rd. First up, PMDG news, starting with PMDG's first X-Plane aircraft, the DC-6, which is now available for the Mac, making it another first for PMDG. The Mac release has caused a bit of a stir though, as you will need to spend $69.99 if you want the Mac version, even if you already bought the Windows one, which is a bit of a break from the way many publishers on X-Plane do it. Even so, it is out now. If you're a Mac X-Plane user and you want some PMDG goodness, you can now go get some. In other PMDG news though, the 747 version 2 has entered technical beta. Now this is the phase in which the aircraft experts, so pilots and crew, get their hands on the aircraft and validate whether or not it is accurate. There is no official timeline on how long this technical beta phase will take, or even how long the normal beta test will take after the technical beta, but historically these things do not move very fast at PMDG. Now the PMDG 747-400 Queen of the Skies 2, to give it its official title, is the latest version of PMDG's Queen of the Skies product, bringing in all the technological advances the company made in developing the 777 and the 737 NGX into a full-featured study simulation of the iconic 747-400. More news is embedded in the announcement over at Avsim. By the way, I have also been told that when it does enter beta beta, the beta that I'm part of, beta, everyone on the beta team will be able to produce videos and I have already started studying to do just that. Next up, DLC for Dovetail Games Flight School. Dovetail have released the first DLC for Dovetail Games Flight School, that being the Diamond DA-42 Twin Star. Now, the Twin Star obviously is a twin-engine aircraft, and it's for working on your multi-engine endorsement in Dovetail's entry-level sim. It has a glass cockpit featuring the G1000 avionics suite, and they claim to have authentic audio, a brand new pilot model, and the aircraft comes with four lessons and three additional missions. Now, there is a bit of a catch. The DA-42 is free free for absolutely everyone, but if you pre-ordered it, you get it now. If you didn't pre-order Dovetail Games Flight School, then you have to wait until 29th of August. Not sure why they did that. More information though on Dovetail Games Flight School link at Steam in the Steam community link in the show notes below. Next up, scenery news from Latin VFR. Kilo Romeo Delta Uniform Rally Durham has been released. Now, obviously, this models Rally Durham Airport, featuring HD textures for all buildings with baked in shading and occlusion, high resolution ground textures, custom runway textures, five square miles of photo scenery, and static aircraft, and all the usual bells and whistles that Latin VFR's airports come with. The price is just 20.99 euros, and the installer will work in both FSX and prepared. More information at the latinvfr.org link in the show notes below. Sticking with scenery, and I missed this because I didn't do a show last week, but Imagine Sims Kilo Lima Golf Alpha was released. Now this of course is LaGuardia and they're calling it LaGuardia 2016. The scenery showcases what LaGuardia will be like after the $4 billion rebuild that is currently underway in the real world. The scenery has been developed from architects plans and visualizations. It features a built-in customization tool to tweak detail levels up and down based on the hardware you are running. Ultra HD textures, realistic weathered and worn ground markings, custom building shadows, sewed and AES compatible, apron service and support vehicles, unique tarmac textures, and a ton more stuff. The good news beyond all of that, though, is there is a free demo available. If you go ahead and buy it, though, it's for FSX currently $26.84. More information at the Flight Sim store link in the show notes below, and you can get the information about the demo there as well. Back over in the world of X-Plane, Dreamfoil Creations S300CBI. Now, preview videos from Red Piper 1 and Thomas Rasmussen have popped up on YouTube showing off the upcoming Dreamfoil Creations Schweizer 300 CBI. Dreamfoil have an incredible reputation for X-Plane helicopters, with their Bell 407 being widely acclaimed as possibly the single most realistic helicopter add-on ever produced on any platform ever. It's that good. The S300 was originally built by Hughes until 1983, and it is an instantly recognizable light utility helicopter that, for people of my generation at least, defines just what a civilian helicopter really looks like. No real news yet on features in the Dreamfall version of this helicopter, but expect the usual array of Dreamfall features, including the awesome Dreamfall sound engine and a staggeringly realistic systems and flight simulation as well. The video you've been watching is from my friend Thomas Rasmussen. It is linked in the show notes below, and as always, do go and check that video out and his channel. It's well worth subscribing to. 
Finally, and still with X-Plane, this is a bit of a break from the norm for me, Molokai Hawaii Photo Reel for X-Plane. Now, I don't normally cover free scenery or add-ons for any sim, simply because there are far too many and oftentimes the quality of these free add-ons is pretty weak. However, I stumbled across the video you're watching right now, which is from Red Piper One, showing some absolutely stunning free scenery for the island of Molokai in Hawaii for X-Plane. Now this scenery package is the latest in the Hawaii Photo Reel project and covers the entire island of Molokai, complete with full ortho imagery and hand-drawn UHD mesh, accurate and realistically placed 3D objects, as well as Papa Hotel Mike Kilo and Papa Hotel Lima Uniform Airports, and Panda and Brandt Field. It looks absolutely incredible and given the price, free, it's well worth checking out if you are an X-Plane aficionado. Do also check out Red Piper One's full video linked in the show notes below as well as his channel and more information on Molokai Hawaii can be found at the X-Pilot forums also linked in the show notes below. So that's it for this week's news. Thank you so much for watching and putting up with my brief break. Until next week, my name is Frugal and I'll see you all very soon.